This is just at the um not the top of Skidder. It's almost the top of Skidder, Andy, aren't we? So we can't be asked to walk over there. So we're just um we've been there before, so we're just at the top of the car side just then, so we're gonna go down there. I'm on my SB 150 today. So last time I rolled this it was new bike date for the bike, so um, I'll give you an update on how I've got on with it over the last eight months. Just take your time. That's, that's the key to this, is just taking your time and just trying to stay in control. It might not be too bad tonight for a bit of rain. Yeah, we're going to this is car side we're coming down now. We'll see what it's like today. Can it can get really loose and uh, slidey so the idea is not to try and pick up too much speed. came off last time on my SB150 new bike day video. It's changed quite a bit though because there was a, a nasty off camber slope there and um, I managed to, um, to just get it wrong and lost the bike. really good tonight though really really not too slidey at all we've had a fair bit of rain recently and uh when you get a bit of moisture in the ground it um it really really helps the uh, binds this stuff together and you get quite a bit of uh quite a bit of traction i mean i don't think i i don't think i lost it once there i mean normally i have at least a few sort of like a uh, out of control slides and as i say that was uh Was excellent. Bit that though, it's just like there's nothing that technical about it. It's just, it's just uh, a challenge to ride well, you know. Anyway, coming back to the bike, the SB150. As I said, I've had it now for eight months, and uh, I must admit, I've been really enjoying it. Um, I've done nothing to it other than the brakes were really shitty when I first got them. They're guide are, so they're not the best brakes in the world, but I've got them on my other Yeti as well, and I, I think they're all right. But I had a right job bleeding the back brake, getting it to work properly, but eventually I got it, uh, I got it, I managed to get it sorted out just by pumping it. Um, but other than that, I mean, the only other sort of difficulty I had with it, which was rather annoying, was is um, the main pivot bolt that goes through here. You need to take this out to grease the switch infinity links there's two grease ports on it here and here and then one behind and uh, you have to grease them i usually grease them about every three months so when i first went to take it off um i couldn't get the axle out it was absolutely sea solid in there and i phoned up yeah well i contacted yeti and they said just back the nut out a bit and tap it and, and then i contacted the company i bought it from start cycles in newcastle and he says oh you can bring it because i says well i don't want to damage it to get it out so he says you can bring it over here but i'll just get a quarter inch socket and uh socket extender and bang it out of a hammer so i thought well i can do that so i did that and it did come out and I've had it out again since then, three months later, uh, when I re-greased them. And, and I greased the axle and I put it back in again and it was absolutely fine. So I just think it wasn't greased when it was first put together, the bike. And that's why it was jamming, which is a bit of a shame because I think I think I probably damaged those pivot axle bearings a bit because you can see there's a bit of movement in the rear, in the rear triangle there. The wheel moves from side to side. And I think it's those, those bearings. I think when I whacked them, because I'm in a, I took a big hammer to it. 
and it took a few good whacks to make it move and it, I mean, it was completely seized in so that's a bit of a shame really so I'll have to get some new bearings for the Switch Infinity Link I mean they're not much they're like I mean the whole set for the whole the whole thing is about 60 quid I think but I think I might be able to just buy the bearings for the Switch I hope I can just buy the bearings for the Switch Infinity Link you know um, but other than that I'm loving the bike it's a great bike it just rolls down anything um, a little bit less manoeuvrable than my um 5c but you know it, it goes down things much better <laughs> all right and did you enjoy that yeah Lots of foot of the pedal there. <laughs> amazing though, isn't it? What a brilliant ridge. I mean, you know, it's just amazing, isn't it? It's just a fucking awesome, awesome place to be. Awesome ride. which is quite washed out at the moment
that's his liver plates that came off but I am um, I did straight into, into there but it's all washed out now so I came off coming down there last time I just dropped down that little ugly face into that channel but uh because it's eroded a fair bit since then there's actually a line on the outside which is what we've just done the last best lines tonight at all. Hi right, buddy. as well it changes every time you come down here though and a few dabs tonight I don't wonder what would have come off there on that sharp rock and impaled myself Hiya. Okay. Thank you. We'll try. Hiya. Okay. Thank you.
Well, I didn't ride that as well as I would have liked, but I did make a couple of mistakes and then at one point my foot came off the pedal and I went flailing around. Mind you, I rode it better than when I, I did it on new bike because I fell off twice, so that's got to be better, isn't it? And what else can I tell you about the SB150? You can see the seat split on it, apparently that's a design fault that happens on all of them. I think if I was bothered about it, I think that uh, uh, they'd send you a new one with a warranty or something. But it adds character to it. It's got a few good battle scars on it now as well. But now I'm bothered about really, you know. I mean, I like, I don't want it to be scratched and broken, but I don't mind the odd, uh, the odd, um, the odd bit of damage to it. As you can see, it's a brilliant bike to ride and it just, it just flows down all that lumpy stuff up there. As I say, it just it just it just sends all that stuff like you know no problem at all. You know, you, you, I'm a passenger on it. Well, I like to think I'm a pilot, but on that you can just be a passenger because it's so good it just flies down it. You know, I think it's partly the big wheels, but um, I mean my five used to go down there amazingly. In fact, my five on that technical stuff is actually because it's a little bit more manoeuvrable. Um, it's probably i mean i haven't taken my five down or look i should really do a comparison take my five down there again and then we can do like a, a comparison between the two here's andy is it smiles andy oh it smiles it's great isn't it it's great so much to learn it's great